Hey guys, so I'm here um, today to show you this really cool fruit tree. This is called a noni tree um, and it grows these little fruit here. Um, and it's a tree that grows throughout um, this area, so I'm in Rarotonga at the moment, um, but it grows all through Australasia and that kind of thing. Um, and it's not really a fruit that you just um, take a bite out of and eat so much. Um, it's, it actually smells really fermented and quite gross. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> um, but but yeah, they often call it like a painkiller fruit, so they do reckon if you take a bite out of it, it will actually numb your throat and you can sort of feel it numbing as you eat it. It's very squishy. Here we go. It smells disgusting. <laughs> it's like, like it's rotten. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no good. No, no, no good to me. <laughs> it has many different kind of medicinal uses for this fruit that the um, locals use and people have used for thousands of years. Um, and some of them are pro proven, some of them aren't. Um, but yeah, they have been using it. So I'll take you in closer anyway to show you what it looks like and I'll put on the screen as well um, some of the uses that they have for it. So here's the fruit um, quite close up and you can see it's like a whitish colour um, and that's when you can tell that it's ripe. When it's not ripe it's more like um, these sort of green looking ones. There you go. Fruits and flowers all throughout the year. It doesn't have like a season. I guess that's because it's in a tropical country but you can see there there's the little flowers and the fruits and the flowers together. So I was talking to one of the locals here and they reckon um, the juice that comes out of the noni fruit that they use, um, it has kind of a similar enzyme or similar enzymes as what you find in humans. And so by drinking the juice it means that it replaces any enzymes that you, your body needs um, and therefore it can kind of target a lot of different illnesses that you have. Um, and you can actually buy this product but um, what the locals have told me that they do is they'll get the ripe fruits and they'll put it in like a sealed container in a cold dark, dark place for up to about three months and the fruit will just kind of ferment and go a bit a bit gross I guess and soft um, and then that way you can actually get the juice out of them because they're kind of hard um, but as they kind of ripen more and more that juice will just come out of them and that's the stuff they drink. And it's, it's really dark um, liquid and kind of tastes like um, You've tasted like Marmite or Vegemite, that kind of taste, but really bitter and quite, quite gross. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video about the noni fruit. I hope you guys learnt something. I thought it was a pretty cool find to come across. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next video.